गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर शक्ति प्रसाद टू डे एम गोइंग टू टीच एडिटिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव प्रॉपर्टीज पार्ट थर्ड नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द एडिटिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ दीज आर दिव और रिप्रोडक्टिव प्रॉपर्टीज लेट लेट X follows the normal distribution. V one comma sigma one square, and Y also follows the normal distribution with parameter U two comma sigma two square. V independent. V independent. Random variable. random variables with moment generating function with moment generating functions mx of t is equal to e to the power mu and t plus half of sigma 1 square t square and moment generating function of y of t is equal to e to the power mu 2t plus half of sigma 2t square then find the distribution find the distribution find the distribution of x plus y before going to distribution of xy first we go for the rough part here is the rough part suppose x follows the normal distribution with parameter mu and sigma square this is the continuous distribution now the moment generating function of this function is e to the power mu t plus half of sigma square t square and now here x and y are the follows the normal distribution that's why we can write the moment generating function in this type here the mu is replaced by mu 1 and sigma is replaced by sigma 1 and now in y is also follows the normal distribution and here you have seen that the parameter mu is replaced by mu2 and sigma is replaced by sigma2 and then after that find the sum of the two normal variates it follows the normal variates or not that's why we go for the finding the distribution of x plus y so we know that by the reproductive properties we know that we know that by the reproductive properties mx plus y of t mx plus y of t is equal to mx of t into my of t since x and y are independent random variable independent independent random variables now after that we write the moment generating function of mx x e, we can write here e to the power mu 1 t plus half of sigma 1 square t square into then we write the moment generating function of y e to the power mu 2t plus half of sigma 2 square t square now here base is same power must be add we can write here mu 1 plus mu 2 into t plus half of bracket sigma 1 Plus sigma two square bracket close into t square. This is the moment generating function of x plus y of t. 
this is the moment generating function of equation number one since since equation one can be expressed can be expressed in the form in the form e to the power mu t plus half of sigma square t square here is mu and here is sigma square that's why it can follow us here that's we can say that x plus y follows the normal distribution with parameter mu1 plus mu2 comma sigma1 square plus sigma2 square and we can say that x plus y is a normally distributed with the parameter of mu1 plus mu2 comma sigma1 square plus sigma2 square and also we can say that the sum of the two independent normal variate is also the normal variate with the parameter mu1 plus mu2 and sigma1 square plus sigma2 square this is the we can take the equation here we can take the equation number here the equation number is equation number is 2 now we go for what is the distribution of what is the distribution of here in a similar way we find the next what is the distribution of what is the distribution of x minus y now here we write that moment generating function of x minus y of t is equal to we write that moment generating function x of t now before we have right in this section so we write here moment generating function of x plus minus y of t is equal to moment generating function of x of t into moment generating function of y minus y minus y moment generating function of minus y of t now we can write moment generating function x of t into moment generating function of y of minus t since by the properties of moment generating function moment generating function of cx of t is equal to we can write the moment generating x of ct here the c in this case c is minus 1 then substitute here the minus 1 that's why we can write this in the form of moment generating function of y of minus t and after that we know that what is the moment generating function of x here we write the moment generating function e to the power mu1 into t plus half of sigma 1 square t square into moment generating function of y e to the power mu 2t plus half of sigma 2 square into t square but here is a minus t then t is replaced by minus t then you write the minus t and here is minus t then only always is coming positives now after that the base is same power must be add we write here e to the power mu1 minus mu2 into t plus half of 
sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square into t square this is the moment generating function of x minus y of t this is the moment generating function of x minus y of t now this is the equation number what this is the equation number 3 the equation number 3 here now which is the we can say that the x minus y follows the normal distribution with parameter mu1 minus mu2 comma sigma1 square plus sigma2 square this is the another result and now we can say that the equation number we can say that the differences of two independent normal variate is also a normal variate with parameter mu1 minus mu2 and sigma1 square plus sigma2 square this it is this is the equation for the differences now in general we write the additive properties in general in general in general suppose x1 follows the normal distribution mu1 comma sigma1 square x2 follows normal distribution mu2 comma sigma2 square dot 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 xn follows normal distribution with parameter mu n and sigma n square then we write the additive properties of this generalized of x1 x2 and xn from from we go for the additive properties what is the additive properties in which equation is coming here is coming in 2 from 2 from 2 we can write the x1 plus x2 plus dot 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 xn follows the normal distribution with mu1 plus mu2 plus dot dot mu n comma sigma1 square plus sigma2 square plus dot 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 sigma in square now in this we can write here summation of xi i is equal to 1 to n follows the normal distribution with parameter is summation mu i i is equal to 1 to n comma summation of i is equal to 1 to n sigma i square Therefore, we can say that now that is we can say that the sum of sum of independent sum of independent normal variate normal variate is also a normal variate is also a normal variate which which establish which establishes which establishes the additive properties additive properties of normal distribution of normal distribution of normal distribution it follows the additive properties of the normal distribution now after some time some nodes are there some nodes is there node number one suppose x follows the normal distribution 
mu 1 comma sigma 1 square and y follows the normal distribution mu 2 comma sigma 2 square now we write ax is also when a is the constant then we write a mu 1 comma a square sigma 1 square and by by b is multiplied with y then we write the air is in b mu 2 comma b square sigma 2 square therefore ax plus by follows the normal distribution of a mu 1 plus b mu 2 comma a square sigma 1 square plus b square sigma 2 square now in the next next if xi i is equal to 1 to dot dot in are identically identically and independently independently distributed distributed with normal distribution with parameter mu and sigma square then we write 1 by n summation of xi i is equal to 1 to n follows the normal distribution 1 by n summation mu i is equal to 1 1 to n mu i comma 1 by n square summation xi square i is equal to 1 to n then we write here x bar follows the normal distribution with parameter mu and sigma square by n therefore the sigma square by n where where x bar is equal to 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n xi now these are the reproductive properties of the normal distribution and some nodes are there and this x bar is utilized in a central limit theorem so now in the central limit chapter we have discussed more than how we'll come so here we go for the example Now one example is Some example is there. Here the length of rod is normally distributed with mean is equal to 4 cm and variance is equal to 0.01 cm. Variance is equal to 0.1 cm. And to such rod are placed end to end and fitted into the slot. The length of this slot is 8 cm and with the tolerance of 0.1 cm and what is the probability that two rods will fit. Now in this section, first we identify that the here is the one rod, the length of rod is 4, here is one 
suppose we write here suppose l1 and l2 represent the length of rod length of rod 1 and rod 2 we have we have l1 follows the normal distribution with parameter is what l1 follows the here is the length length is given here is the parameter for mean is given and variance is 0 0.01 and l2 is also given for 0 0.01 now after that here we the length of rod this load 8 centimeter and rod are placed end to end means here the l1 is 4 here is l1 and after that we fill up the l2 means that we go for the l1 l1 plus l2 is also follows the normal distribution so we know that by the report additive properties of the normal distribution here mu is what 4 plus 4 into 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 now we write here l1 plus l2 follows the normal distribution that is with parameters 8 comma 0 0.02 now question is find the length of this slot the tolerance is 0 0.5 now tolerance means what here is tolerance is what is the tolerance here is the tolerance means here is plus minus 0 0.1 in a question plus minus 0 0.1 now we go for the according to the question we find the probabilities tolerance of 8 centimeter means that the l lies between here we take completely l l is equal to l1 plus l the whole length is l we can consider the whole length is l l is length is 8 centimeters just why we tolerance of 7.9 L lies between 8.1 this is the tolerance now we have utilized the standard normal variates and we can use for the transformation here here the transformation we utilize the transformation z is equal to L minus mu by sigma here is L minus mu is what 8 and sigma is equal to under root of 0 0.02 therefore we can write the L minus 8 by 0 0.14 we take 1 4 this is the normal distribution of 0 comma 1 and now we convert this in a standard normal variates by the transformation of this here we put 7.9 minus 8 by 0 0.14 less than L minus 8 by 0 0.14 less than 8 my 8.1 minus 8 by 0 0.14 now here we have seen that after calculation we get the result is after cal 0 0.7143 and here we write z less than equal to 0 0.7143 0 0.7143 now after that we write the probabilities of z is less than equal to 0 0.7143 minus probabilities of 
z less than equal to minus 0 0.7143 and after that we use for the standard normal variable here the capital phi of 0 0.7143 minus capital phi of minus 0 0.7143 so by the table of a standard normal variates we write the result here so just we go for the table one minutes just we wait now here is 0 point just we check only for the 0 0.7 to 1 and we add plus 4 only just we go for the 0 0.7 0 0.7 is what 0 0.7 and we move for the 0 0.01 0 0.01 is coming from what 0 0.76 115 and then we add 4 here plus 4 we get is what 0 0.76119 just here we write 0 0.76119 and now we go for the minus 0 0.7 this is the area a standard normal distribution area under the normal curve represent the left side of the z score here we go for this here is what we find the minus 7 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.1 here is this 0.23885 and we add here plus 4 0 0.23889 0 0.23889 now after that we write the values here here we put the 0 0.23889 the result is the result is 0 point after subtraction we getting 0 0.5223 this is the result of this question now we move for the next question so next example we move for the next example Next example is two random variable. Here is two random variable x and y are the both normally distributed with the mean is one and two and a standard deviation three. Therefore, the x one follows the normal distribution. Now, solution is the n with mean is 1 and standard deviation 3 is variance is what 9 and now y is also follows the normal distribution according to the question the mean is 2 and variance is 16 here a standard deviation sigma is given then sigma square is 16 now if z is equal to x minus y then find the z plus 1 less than equal to 0 means that now we know that suppose x and y follows the normal distribution then differences of 
also the normal variety is also follows the normal distribution by the additive properties of normal distribution then we write x minus y follows the normal distribution is what 1 minus 2 here is mu 1 minus mu 2 comma 9 plus 16 now we write x minus y follows the normal distribution here is with parameter minus 1 comma 25 now we write j follows the normal distribution minus 1 comma 25 that is now according to the question here the we according to the question probabilities of z probabilities of z probabilities of z plus 1 less than 0 then we can write here probabilities of z less than equal to minus 1 and now we are used for the transformation now we go for the transformation here just we take u is equal to z minus mu by sigma here we write z minus mu is what minus 1 and sigma is what 5 and then we write z plus 1 by 5 follows the normal distribution 0 comma 1 now we convert it probabilities of z plus 1 by 5 here is coming 0 then we write probabilities of mu is less than 0 in table we can put the z is equal to 0 or u is equal to 0 that is the area is coming 0 0.5 this is the answer of this questions so we go for the table first here we have find that 0 0.0 0 0.0 in this portion is coming 0 0.05 the answer is coming here 0 0.05 so now thank you guys so thank you thank you so please like comment and subscribe my lecture video